Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles Sebastian. Welcome, you guys, to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today, we got a crazy show uh, in store for you guys. Before we get into it, uh, please make sure you like the video and sub to the channel. <clears throat> today going to be one of them shows, man. Today is just going to be one of them shows. As you guys know, we've been talking about uh, Bronny James ever since he became basically an NBA player in, uh, in Summer League. And with the Bronny James conversation, it's kind of created two different factions. They're the fact that the people out there that are pro Bronny, pro LeBron, pro what he's doing, they feel like there's nothing wrong, lay off the kid. And then there are other people on the other side, like, well, wait a minute, something is wrong here. There was an abuse of power here. This guy may not really be that good. Why are you trying to silence us from giving you a different view versus what you see on ESPN? Uh, in all of these various major news outlets, right? So these two kind of uh, groups going back and forth, but there's something in the middle, right? There's something in the middle. And what's in the middle is Bronny. And more importantly, it's not just Bronny, but it's his performance on the court. At the, at the core of all of this, this is going to come down to how Bronny James performs as an NBA player who already has a, a four-year guaranteed contract. So no matter what this group says over here, no matter what that group says over there, ultimately the results are going to speak for themselves, uh, speak for itself. And right now the results are not speaking. Yesterday, Bronny played in his third summer league game. And I believe it was a televised game. It was a star studded affair. New Lakers head coach, J.J. Redick was there. Rob Palenka was there. LeBron was there. His mom was there. Uh, and in a game like this, going into this game, a lot of people were questioning Bronny James's aggressiveness because in the game prior, he scored three points, but he only attempted three field goals, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, maybe he attempted. Uh, yeah, he only attempted uh, three field goals in that game. Correct. And he scored three points. So people, I guess, in this game and given the fact that his parents were going to be there, he, you know, he would want to be aggressive. But that's actually not what happened. As a matter of fact, he was one of the worst performers on his team. And given his production, one could have even questioned why he even started in the first place. The bright spot for the Lakers, I believe, are, is the player that they drafted, Dalton. And he actually finished that game shooting very well. He was 5 of 11 from the three-point line, shoot, uh, shooting 45% from the three. He scored 25 points with six rebounds, four assists, one steal, one block, and only one turnover, might I add, while shooting 50% from the field. But you would never know that because the person that has been that is being hyped, that is being promoted now, if you go to Bleacher Report's Instagram page, their top three pinned posts. One of them is Bronny James with, with LeBron James. So the media are definitely, definitely promoting Bronny as if he's like this great player, or at least he's getting the attention that a great player would. But then when you look at his performances, it doesn't even come close to what a good or forget about great player would be. In last night's outing, Bronny scored eight points. The issue was he scored eight points on 21% shooting from the field going three or 14 from the field he shot zero of eight from the three um he did have two steals he did have three turnovers uh in the game but he did have five rebounds uh, and he hit both of his free throws uh and after that performance um people on the internet have been roasting him right not just individual nba fans but a lot of creators a lot of creators have definitely definitely uh, been going in on Bronny Jane. A lot of people have been going in on him. And one of the comments that I read all throughout the internet, even on Twitter with a Clutch Sports, uh, um, um, uh, what is it, post, and we want to show, Clutch Points, excuse me, uh, post, I'm going to read one of the comments. One person said, he's a second round pick. Why are everyone pressuring him? Uh, give him time. Another person said, putting way too much pressure on uh, on this youngster another person said or the same person said give him a minute um and then some other people were definitely not as nice some other people were not holding back other people were like no look uh if you're going to be hyping up this guy the way that you guys do if he doesn't perform up the snuff we're going to call it like we see it and that's exactly what people are doing 
people are calling it down the line and they're calling it even uh uh cam and mace cameron who he said he's he knows rich paul and all of these guys even cameron got to the point where he, he was just like nah i'm not feeling i'm not feeling that field goal percentage i'm not feeling the story about you going out there in one game and the next game they saying that you hurt mace was like nah that's a pr move they were not feeling it they were like you got to be more aggressive but even in this game even though he was more aggressive it is clear that He's not even the best player on his team. He's not even the best. Personally, what I think is happening is the following. I think that Bronny is being set up to fail. Number one, I've said that. And number two, I believe that Bronny is being used as a prop. I believe that he is used, he's being used as a prop. And the last person is going to benefit from all of this is Bronny. Bronny right now is bringing in headlines for the major networks. They're going to be talking about him, promoting him. Rob Palenka, the, the, the Lakers general manager, publicly admitted that the reason they did this was because of the story, right? To be the first father and son duo, given the fact that it's LeBron, he said the Lakers should be a team that should be able to make that type of history. All of this has nothing to do with Bronny. Absolutely nothing. And what's going to happen is all of the pressure is going to fall on him. Now, some people are saying, oh, wait a minute. Why are you only coming down on, you know, you're only coming down on Bronny because he's related to LeBron James. That could be a factor. But another factor is the fact that LeBron has been opening, he was the one opening his big mouth for the last few years, saying that Bronny could definitely be in the NBA right now. He's definitely better than some NBA players right now. Bronny could definitely play on the lake. That's what LeBron was saying. So LeBron was one of the biggest proponents as far as people that were heaping pressure on Bronny. And what LeBron fans want to do is just totally skirt the issue. They want to circumvent that reality and act like as if they don't understand where all of this scrutiny is coming from. They're like, well, I don't understand since when did a 55th pick get all of this attention? Why is he getting all this attention? You need to go ask his father. You need to go ask his father why he's getting all that attention. Because he was the one saying that this guy is going to be better. He's better than NBA players right now. So the question then becomes, do you believe him? Well, no. Because nothing we've seen thus far has suggested that to be true. And trust me, take it from me. Even the NBA players that are talking about Bronny saying he's good at it, behind closed doors, they all know what it is. Trust and believe me. Most of them believe that Bronny should have spent an additional year in college. Forget about what they're saying on TV. Forget about it. They're just saying that to be politically correct. Behind closed doors, of the vast majority of these guys believe he is not ready. Period. Forget about them sitting up there twerking it up all over the screen, knocking over each other, knocking it over each, each other's drink, pouring honey all over the... Oh, uh, and by the way, speaking of honey, shout out to my man, I don't know him, Josh Hart from the Knicks. It seems like your man, Josh Hart, hit him with the pouring honey all over you with the Jalen Brunson when he took 150 for four years. I'm like, what's going on? Damn, they... <laughs> What's going on? Shout out to him. I don't know if you got it from us, but we the ones that have been basically saying, uh, you know, pouring honey all over the place with these guys because that's what they do. They just run up and down the hallway, hollering, screaming, slapping each other with honey, just basically disturbing the peace, running through the woods with, with, with torches in their hands, just basically acting a nuisance. And the minute you say something like this, all of a sudden, oh, you want to see a black man? Fit. R really? 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 That's what we want to do. So Bronny's going to fail. He's the son of a billionaire. We're turning Bronny into a sympathy figure? No. If Bron you see, it would have been better. In my estimation, it would have been better if Bronny was at least a good player. If at least Bronny was going out there and scoring 15 to 20 a night. Then at least, because nepotism was there. But then some people would be able to say, well, you know what? Nepotism definitely played a role, but you got to hand it to the guy. He can really play ball. Like, he can really ball. But what's happening here is the total opposite. Nepotism is here and in a compounded he's not playing well and i just feel so because personally i said this on many occasions i think Bronny's a really really cool guy he seems like a genuinely nice person and i feel like the person that is going to lose out in, in all of this is going to be Bronny. and i think it is unfair to him because i don't see how any of this benefits him i do not see it i don't see how any of this benefits him any of this it it, it 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 is so sad it is so sad but the people i believe that you need to be blaming are lebron 
in the media. Go to Bleacher Reports home. Matter of fact, we want to put up Bleacher Reports. Uh, let me just let me just uh, verify this. Yeah, go to Bleacher Reports homepage on uh, Instagram. The first post you will see pinned at the top is Bronny James with LeBron James. If you go to NBA on ESPN, go to their Instagram. Their Instagram. This the the, the second post pinned at the top is Bronny James and LeBron James, a 55th pick. But then when we talk about it. People are like, oh, I don't understand why you're talking about it. The question is, why are they promoting it? Nobody wants to really deal with this question. All we want to do is sit up here and twerk it up and holler and scream and act like we don't know what the hell is going on. Then you got these dusty ass uh, uh, creators. They know who they are running around uh, uh, creating content and then nobody's going to watch. Mr. 17.8. You're going to be sitting at that. Night. Like, th th this is what we're doing. So I feel bad for the guy, but we're going to call it like we see. We're going to call it the same way we call it for everybody else. And all the people hollering and screaming about, oh, protect the black kid, protect the black. I'm I'm, I'm still looking for you jigaboos when they was going off on Kwame Brown because a lot of you MFers were laughing because y'all thought it was mighty funny. Do you know why you thought it was funny? Because Kwame Brown wasn't an elite. I keep going back to this point. Kwame was an elite. He wasn't, an, he wasn't a son of a billionaire. So he was fair game. But oh Lord, don't let them talk about King James. They're king. Don't let them go down that road. How dare you talk about LeBron? How dare you? Don't you know he's royalty and his kids are blue-blooded? How dare you? Who do you think you are? But we talk about everybody else. When Ben Simmons is up, they're just basically be behaving like an absolute nuisance. But just 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 basically stinking up the polluting the, the airways with this terrible play we all laugh we all laugh but now all of a sudden oh man i feel bad for the kid oh now all of a sudden i feel bad for the kid but what about what about all these other guys these other guys zion williamson isn't a kid so now everybody else is grown but, but Bronny a kid all right we see y'all